Hi everyone, it's Ellen from Classroom Unbound and I wanted to take some time today to show you guys our science curriculum for this year. We have chosen Sassafras Science Adventures and we are starting from the beginning, so volume one, zoology, and I wanted to give you guys a closer look into what the curriculum entails. The curriculum includes three books. You have the storybook that you read aloud and then the guide, the teacher's guide, and the log book where you log in all of information. So I've cut off the spine. I took it to um, Office Max and cut off the spine and had them hole punch it just so I could put it in a binder and have easier access to it. And you definitely don't have to do that. But I just found it's easier that way than ripping out any pages. So the story follows Blaine and Tracy, who are twins. They have flunked their science class and the mother has sent them to stay with their scientist uncle and the uncle has basically designed adventures for them to go on to learn science and we like the story um, following them through and it's like they learn about different things through conversations with people so it's it's more of a natural way of learning instead of just like a textbook that lays out you know these here's all the information about elephants but in a story you know they're they see a, a herd of elephants and then the friend is telling them, oh, did you know that elephants, you know, et cetera. So we really like it. And um, this setup reminds me of Story of the World in that you have your storybook and then you have your teacher's guide and then the worksheets. So let me show you, for instance, we have, this is how it's set up. You have, if you wanted to do two days a week, this is what you would do on day one, this is what you would do on day two, or you could do a five day a week schedule and it breaks it down like this for every chapter, which is really nice. Some weeks we, we do two days, some weeks we do it every day, it just depends on how we feel. So you have all the supplies that you need and then what your schedule can look like and then it'll give you all the information, some extra books that you can use the notebooking that you are going to do, which is coming from this book, and then um, your science demonstration and any other kind of weekly activities that you can do. And if you also wanted to do memorization and copy work, you could do that as well. And I like that breakdown for each week. And also at the beginning, let me see, there's a list of library books by chapter so it's all in one place which is very very helpful and then um let's see your demonstration supplies listed by chapter as well so all of that is in the beginning so what i've done for my seven and five year old who are the main ones using this is made two notebooks for them i just use folders and we have our log book which is i'll just show you side by side um, what it looks like um, the log book for them so you have your information your habitat information sheet and um, this is my five-year-old and this is my seven-year-old and I rotate with having them write things or having me write stuff just depending on what box it is but we find out information about what habitat we're visiting and um, the average rainfall, temperature, animals found there, and then these are the animals that are covered in that chapter. And then you can see like where they're located throughout the world, and we, ha we write that in there, or color that, and then write it down. And then we go through the different animals that we find, and then what information they remember from the reading. And... What I do at the beginning of the week or at the beginning of each chapter is just go through and make the copies for that particular chapter and then add it in here. And since we just go chapter by chapter, I don't have to worry about anything being out of order. And we really are enjoying this curriculum so far. So we finished up the deserts, excuse me, we finished up the grasslands and now we're going on to the deserts. So I have already made the copies of the desert information here and put it in here already. And so when, as we start this chapter, then it's already in here for them and ready for them to fill out. And to give you a more overview of what is included in the zoology, 
we have grasslands, desert, Canadian farm, rainforest, the Australian deciduous forest, the Chinese bamboo forest, the Arctic, and the Atlantic Ocean. So we will go through that over the next, um, probably, we do about one chapter a week, so until chapter 17, so I guess the next 12 weeks or so, and then we want to move on to volume two, which I believe is anatomy. So also, since I have a three-year-old who participates, what I use for her is the back has beautiful pictures. So I use those, this is the back of the teacher's guide. I use these to let her color any way that she wants to. And that's like her participation in our unit. And I think these are fun little things to color. And my five and seven year old also like to color these as well. And also in the back, also in the back are quizzes. Let's see here are quizzes if interested. And I just like to go through and verbally ask my kids if they, you know, whatever the questions are and see if they can find the correct answer. I don't necessarily hand them a quiz. I just know through question to answer through dialogue with them if they've understood the material or not. And that is an overview of our science for this year. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thanks for watching and have a great day.